After you've read the question, be sure you understand the information you've been given. Here we're looking at an electron that absorbs energy and moves from the n equals 1 state to the n equals 3 state. The fact that L equals 1 is irrelevant, since in a one electron system, anything with the same principal quantum number n has the same energy. We're asked why a laser emitting at a wavelength of 355 nanometers was unable to accomplish this transition. The next step is to plan your approach to solving the question. If we determine the wavelength that would be required to induce this transition, we can compare it to the wavelength used by the student in the question. To find the wavelength, we can use the Rydberg equation. But first we have to rearrange it to solve for wavelength. The Rydberg constant, Rh, is 1.097 times 10 to the 7 with units of inverse meters. So before we finish, we'll have to convert our answer to nanometers using the proper conversion. Now we can move on to solving the question. Substitute in the values for the Rydberg constant and the values for n1 and n2. Remember, n2 should always be greater than n1. Then calculate the answer. Now we can convert into nanometers, making sure the units cancel properly. This tells us that the wavelength required to excite an electron from the ground state of a hydrogen atom to the n equals 3 excited state is 102.6 nanometers. Finally, we need to explain the observation in the question. The wavelength must be 102.6 nanometers or shorter, so 355 nanometers is too long to induce the transition. Now before you move on to the next question, check your work. Have you used the right units? And have you included the right number of significant figures? Yes. Does your answer seem reasonable? Yes, because the energy of the photon is not sufficient to induce the transition, and quantum chemistry tells us it's impossible to go part way.